Hey y'all, Wild Kyle here. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any adventures. Today, I've come back to a spot I haven't been to in a very long time, and I am taking a bit of a risk because, to be honest with you, it hasn't been super productive lately. You've seen me in videos here before, finding some really beautiful druzy quartz crystals inside of chert rock that forms inside limestone, which is the ancient sea floor, which we can also find echinoid fossils, which are fossilized sea urchins, and who knows what else, all kinds of cool shells and stuff like that as well. So I had a little bit of time today. My friends are busy, so it's just me and y'all today. And I took a drive out here just to see what I could find, because it's an absolutely beautiful day and I wanted to get out of the house. But I got the fossil mobile. You know the fossil mobile, this beautiful piece of junk right here. No, she's not a piece of junk, she's good. But we're gonna be driving, ow, it's hot. Anyways, we're gonna be driving down this road and seeing what we can find. Like I said, a little bit of a risk, but we're gonna see, hopefully we can find some amazing stuff. If not, we're still just gonna have a fun time and find cool stuff. So let's do it. And thus the epic journey begins. The epic bumpy journey, as you can probably hear my car bumping around. <laughs> Probably sounds like it's about to fall apart, it's okay. She's old, she'll handle it. All right, stepping out of the car for the first little spot of the day, and yes, yes, I have plastic dinosaurs in my car, uh, pretty much at all times. <laughs> but if you look right over here, you can see all that beautiful limestone material. And if we look a little closer, let's get down here, look at all that. Look at all those little fossil shells and such. And you can see some of the chert material, which is this stuff right here, which occasionally will have the Jeruzy quartz. Actually, you look right there. And there's a bigger chunk of it right there. So hopefully we'll find that today. But either way, we'll probably find some echinoids, maybe some cool shells, and maybe some other cool stuff if we get lucky. Let's get to looking. That's not a bad little find right there. Check out that little echinoid. A very cool 30 million year old fossil. I will accept it. Tell y'all what, it's blistering hot out here right now. And all I have is a slight bit of relief from the sun being behind that tiny cloud right now. Oh my goodness. A lot of material to look at though. Okay, not too terribly much to be seen right in this little spot. So we're gonna jump in the car, start it up, and drive a little further. Let's go. Now this, my friends, is the way to do it right here. Have air on full blast. Slowly drive and look. And I did just see a cool fossil. What was that? Ugh. Oh yeah. And a neat little shelly we got right there. Hello there. That's actually pretty cool. A little scallop shell in the limestone matrix. Let's keep doing. Look at this. Look at that big, fat, beautiful echinoid. Yeah. That is a big one. That's going to look good cleaned up. Look, you can see a little bit of that star pattern right there. Get that, buddy, in some citric acid or something and soak off that extra matrix. Not bad. And this little section actually looks pretty good. If you look right through here, I mean, there's just little echinoids and shells everywhere. In fact, <laughs> in fact, check that out. Another nice little echinoid right there. Very cool. I like it. So what I'm noticing is that when you look out your window long enough at the moving ground and then you just stop and look straight ahead, the entire horizon moves and it's disorienting and strange. <laughs> but I got out right here because I did see this little cute echinoid right there and oh my gosh it's bright there we go maybe we can see a little better right there very cool little echinoid lots of shell stuff I've seen bone out here before maybe we'll get lucky and find some bone or even a, a tooth today I don't know that'd be cool I have decided I should probably walk a little bit of these really rocky spots because of the weird <laughs> disorientation of looking at the ground for long periods of time and I just took a couple steps forward from my last clip and I am happy because that is a species of echinoid I've never found out here. That, my friends, is shizaster. Oh, man, that is a cool echinoid. I'm excited to get that one all cleaned up. It looks like it might be in pretty good shape. Let's go over here to the shade. 
Shade, 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 shade. Where's the shade? Yeah, right there. That is a Shizaster Echinoid. I found some of these long ago, but I've never seen this species out here on these roads, so that's exciting right there. Very cool. It's quite difficult to choose where to look because it really does all look about the same. It's also just all rocky and beautiful and creates happiness within my body because I'm a child and I love rocks. And look at that amount of rocks. I mean, it's just, it's just nice. I don't see anything worth getting out for right here, but... I, wait, I do see a little sparkly sparkly there. Let's let's check that out for a second. Ugh. Uh, oh my gosh, it's hot and bright. Where did it go? Right there. Aha! Yes, do you see it? Zoop. Ooh, look at that druzy. Oh man. It's such a small piece or else I'd probably keep it. Probably won't keep this one, but man. That's what we're looking for. We need some big chunks with that druzy on there. Very nice. That's a nice sight right there. Driving along. Beautiful, beautiful echinoid. Ugh. Yeah, man. Nice, fresh. Let's get in here because you can see it better without the sun. <laughs> Look at that. Fresh echinoid. Not fresh because it's 30 million years old, but fresh in the sense of awesomeness. Sweet. There's been a ridiculous amount of rain here in Florida. Also a ridiculous amount of heat <laughs> here in Florida as well. So we're making do with what we can because a lot of sites are flooded and stuff like that and the heat just makes it nearly impossible to hunt some stuff, man. It's just quite brutal. This isn't too bad. Just get out here cruising around. You get to jump in the car and cool off a little bit while you're searching. And like I said, I'm kind of looking, <laughs> looking out the window right now and just letting this air blow. But it doesn't do much with all that heat coming in. But either way, I mean, you can't really ask for better. You're out finding 30 million year old fossils on a dirt road. To me, that is awesome. So, let's keep looking. I think I just saw Echinoid. I think so. If it is, you'll see it in a clip. Let's keep looking. Yes. Yes, it was. Uh, whoa. Oh. Dude, I, dude, I think that's another Shizaster. I just got to get all that matrix off of it. Oh, it is. I can tell by the butt shape. That's another nice Shizaster Echinoid. That is sweet. Going to take that one home and get her all cleaned up. Hopefully I can get all that matrix off. Should be able to. Let's take it. Just hopped out of the car because I do see something that may make me happy. Right here. Ugh. Oh yeah, look at that. That's a little bit of druzy in there with some botryoidal. Not super sparkly, but some nice micro druzy crystals. So that is a good sign right there for sure. Some cool color on there. Probably won't keep that piece because there's not a whole lot on it, but I'll leave it here for somebody else. A very promising thing to see. Can't deny that these little pieces like that are pretty dang cool. Just a chunk of limestone with a few shells in it. It's like you're getting a look at the ancient sea floor. And to me, that is pretty awesome. And it is amazing how absolutely loaded this stuff is. It's like a weird something right there. But, oh, hey, and a little spider. But, I mean, there's just little pieces of shell everywhere you look. It's pretty dang cool. Ooh, and look. And a mud dauber. What you looking at, buddy? Now, look at that really cool sea bottom piece right there with that shell in it. Very different. Normally I just see these guys, but that's pretty sweet. This is pretty soft stuff. Well, no, this one's actually pretty solid. Some of this might be cool. Maybe a piece like this to just like clean off and set on the shelf or something like that. Not a, not a bad find. Yeah. Hello there. Ugh. Oh. A not bad little echinoid at all. Let's stick my hands in the scary water. Ooh, that water actually does feel kind of nice. Nice. A little sea urchin fossil. Very cool. And right as I'm about to jump back in the car and start driving more, another one. Oh. Uh-oh. Might need a rock to get this one out. Come on, baby. Ugh. Ugh. 
Got it. Oh, that one's in some matrix. That's why it's like that. Let's give it a little wash right here. Hopefully I do not fall in. Yes. Where was she dove? Don't come eat me, alligators. Oh, that is pretty cool. I like that with a little matrix stuff on there. Cool. This right here, unacceptable. Not what I want to see out here in this beautiful place. I'm gonna just <laughs> throw it in my car and take it out of here. And we're gonna look right here for a wee second because, no, mostly because I wanted to look at this, that. Don't fall on that, that wouldn't be very good. And you got these little pieces here, just the little chunks of fossil material that are pretty dang cool. And then you got a little berm right here of just fossil rock and material. Oh man, wow. No, I wanna get a shot of that butterfly. Come back. Where are you? There you are way over there. Land for me. Skittish butterfly has gone so far away. Okay. Well, if y'all are enjoying today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'm having a great and relaxing day out here, just enjoying myself, finding some fossils. Hopefully y'all are enjoying the video as well. Let's get back to looking. There's a little echinoid peeping out. Are you complete? Oh, uh, I need a rock. Hold on. Look what I found while I was looking for a rock to dig my echinoid out with a big echinoid. <laughs> oh, that one's huge, it's got so much matrix on it, but probably worth getting that off. Might be pretty under it. Okay, where's the other one? Where was it, right there. Let's see if I can get it out with this. Maybe one of these days I'll learn to be prepared with a screwdriver. Oh, the mosquitoes found me. Oh, it's broken. Blech. Dude, look at this little guy, a cute little frog, just hopping along. Oh, bye. I was just driving along here looking out the window. I'm not going to disturb him, but, oh, there he is. Look at that cute little frog. Oh, it's probably a very poor image quality because I'm zoomed in so far. There's a little froggy right there on that rock. And I'm just going to let him sit there because I don't want to disturb him because it looks like he's relaxed. But it was cute, so let's keep going. Is it annoyed? Ah, ye. Hello there. Beautiful. Oh, yes, beautiful. And, and uh, also, look who's hiding over here. Oh, man, a nice one. Sweet. Maybe I ought to pop out for a minute right here and look around, because that was two right next to each other. Look at this. Dude. That's a bone. That is a vert. It's a vert. What? Oh, it's all broken, isn't it? That is crazy. That's got to be some sort of dugong vert or something from the Eocene. All this limestone is Eocene. I want to get that rinsed off a little bit. Let's find some water. Ugh. Here's some water here, but can I do this without falling in and getting sucked through uh, the tunnel of doom? Okay, this is a little bit dangerous, <laughs> but it's the only water I could find. Please don't eat me, alligators. Hopefully I don't drop this bone, too. Okay. Uh. Yeah, man. That's a little vert. Oh, yeah. Ooh, there's still clay and stuff stuck in there. You can see the little where the spinal cord would go through. There's a mosquito biting me. Man. That's really cool. That's like a, that's definitely a little dugong vert or something. And not what you would expect. <laughs> I just want to get down here and rinse it off more. Not what you would expect to find on this road. That is pretty dang cool. I will accept that very happily. Got some double noid action right here. Annoyed. And ugh. Ooh, a nice one. This one's got a little hole in it. That one's nice. I won't keep that one. I will keep this one and get it cleaned up. Lots of shell fossils and such right here. Right near where I found that vert and those other noids. Look how cool that is. 
That is just a crazy solid chunk of really cool shell fossils. Look at that. I do enjoy it. But too big to take home. It is very nice to be driving along. Ah, I'm locked in. Ugh. And see something shiny catch your eye. Which I see right here. Right there. What's it gonna be? Oh man. Look at that druzy in there. Y'all see that sparkle? That's really cool. A little druzy quartz pocket and some chert. Maybe even more over here. Not a whole lot. But that sparkle is beautiful. That's worth me taking home. Heck yeah. Check this is pretty cool right here. Let me actually let me find some shade so we can see it a little better. Let me get over here. Look at the look at this stuff right here. Focus. That's little Druzy quartz crystals with like a white coating on it, so they're not shiny. But you can feel the crystals. Definitely more of what we're looking for right there. But not exactly what we want, but it's pretty cool. And a big chert chunk. Not bad. Right there. That's a little more of what we're looking for. See that? Look at that's all crystals right there. All quartz crystals. Druzy. That's pretty cool. And there's all these other little pieces around here of this chert stuff that it grows in. I'm kind of pulling pieces out and not really seeing any more of it. And you look right here. Ugh. A little echinoid. Not a bad little echinoid. And that little crystal piece was cool. Nothing like the ones I found here before, but that's okay. We're just going to keep looking. I'm pretty sure that not all of y'all saw my community tab post that I posted the other day where I put a split picture of one side being one of my very first intros with very short hair and another one being my most recent intro with my hair now because I've been growing it out for so dang long. I'm going to put that picture up right over here somewhere on the screen just so y'all can see it. And then you're going to let me know in the comments below if you like the long hair or the short hair better. I like the long hair. I'm going to keep the long hair even if a bunch of you say the short hair. But the long hair suits Wild Kyle, in my humble opinion. So, let me know in the comments below. Alright, let's keep looking. Tell you what, it feels hotter right now, later in the day, than it did earlier. I'll stop complaining, I know, I know, I know. But, I got a fossil right here. And not only is it a cool echinoid, but it is... It is a shizaster. Oh yeah. So these are a unique species, very interesting shape. I'm excited to get this one cleaned up too. That's three for the day and I've never found this species at this site before. That's just kind of crazy. I don't understand how that happens sometimes. I can't talk <laughs> sometimes, but it do. So I'll take it. And now I'll be giving you a first hand look at what it would look like to be a fossil about to be picked up by Wild Kyle. Yes, I do. Awesome. Ah. I'm sorry that I subjected you to that. I now feel bad for the fossils. I will now never pick up a fossil again. Just kidding. Now this feels nice. That sun is behind many clouds. Perfect time for walking and looking. Look at that neat little echinoid right there. Haven't seen one like that out here much. Those have a really cool star pattern on them right there. Little flat thin ones. Very cool. Whoa! Hey, buddy. Oh, oh gosh. Look at that echinoid. That's nice. He's stuck in some rock, but that looks pretty cool. I'll take that. Oh, this isn't a fossil, but look at this. That's a little rodent jaw. Maybe from a little rabbit. And there's another little piece of it right there. Not a fossil, but 
always kind of crazy to see. Sad that something happened to the little guy, but kind of cool to see that out in the wild. And look right there. Little tiny echinoid. All right, y'all. Let's go home and get some of this stuff cleaned up. All right, I got a few of these guys cleaned up, and these are some of my favorite ones. Some nice echinoids with that very nice pattern. Very well preserved. I like to leave some of the limestone on there. It gives context to the fossil, which I think is pretty cool. I like this little flat one there. A little star pattern on that. Um, but then, of course, you have the three of these Shizaster is the species. And these are much more rare than the other kind. This one's a little beat up, but it's still pretty cool. This one, looking much better. Just a little butt there. I mean, these ones are really just a cool shape. Really a pleasure to find these. And this is my favorite one, honestly. It's like a piece of echinoid right there, actually. And I love the, I love the chunk of limestone still attached to it. I got a bunch of it off because it was like covering all of this. But now... You can see more of that detail. It's crazy because you can tell this one kind of got crushed but stayed together. It's just really, really a cool fossil. So, if you all enjoyed the video today, give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. I had a bunch of fun finding these ancient sea biscuits. Hope you had fun with me as well. I'll see you in the next video.